I would, I would kind of be, when I told you just to move that level, that's great, but you miss what's actually happening. So, so what you should do here, this is why I don't tell you guys to do this too often because there's other stuff that I'm doing. It's like, I would bring this level back to here ah. because on a higher time frame, it hasn't developed yet, but we do yeah. want to see those moments. So, so right now what this shows me is greediest level entry, possibly back test this, stay above the break. This is fine because, because you see, if we, if we adapt it too much, we kind of miss what's happening. If yeah. you adapt it, you look for a moment in the future by de-evolving it like this, you understand what's happening in the present. <clears throat> so it's, it's, it's like analyzing the present versus the future. But so, so by having that trend here, we can see what will happen in the future. Like how, how I move through those trends, like what I don't tell people is I'm moving them back and forth a lot. So that's, that's not something I've ever gotten into with anybody. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's analyzing yeah. what can happen in the future versus what's happening in the present because you'll, you'll miss like... You could, you could actually... Then would it be more helpful to draw the two of them? Um, it past can. and present, past and future. It can be. You can, you can do it like that for sure. Because really right now, what, what are we we're seeing? This whole level is being hit. It hasn't back tested this trend yet. I don't know if it needs to. I suppose that would be the moment where it's like, okay, um, if we distribute and, and break this trend, we pull back to even possibly here. No. Forward or back? No, I'm just looking right here. You can sorry. pull back to this moment right here. Oh, oh sorry. Don't move your chart. Uh, no, I'll just leave it alone. You could pull back to this moment here if you lose that trend and still be moving up. And still be okay. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things we're analyzing on these, count, uh, on, on these charts that, yeah. that where could the latter point be? Because, you know, even here, you do have this, this, this. So technically, as long as you stay above this one, you're still laddering. So then you look for the level that's staying above that, right? So then you would say like, okay, well, this level right here is technically above that. So, so you could technically still be laddering if you lose the current trend. You see what I mean? So, so people would be shorting into this and then they might get liquidated on the long before the short. Yeah, yeah. There, 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 there's, there's so many different things going on on this chart right now. There, there is, there is, there is, you know, and, and it's, yeah. and, and it's you, know, you miss one of them and bang, you're gone, especially on the big leverage. Yep, absolutely. It's understandable. No, I, I, can, I can remember you, I can remember writing down that, you know, a trend can fan out and it's still not failure. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And that's simply because it's laddering. Like we could go and hit this level and uh, technically it just laddered off of this, creating a point out here. Like if it comes out here and hits that and then, and then it just creates a trend that we need to break in the future, which means this isn't going to hold it. This attack on these levels is happening now. If whatever level we attack here is the final level in all of this, it's attacked. So, so we are looking for the final moment, right? Okay. It looks like our trend is uh, working nicely. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, it's holding. So, you know, when you see, and I've seen it so many times, uh, uh, you get, like, it takes off and you get 1% in one minute candle. Yep. What is that? Polarity. Right. But you could call this break, trend break here a moment of polarity. It's either going to break it or not, right? It's risky. It's risky because your moment is a 7276, like 7276 is your moment yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So there, there, are, there are levels of polarity levels or levels of polarity strength, if you like. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You have to pick the, the strongest one. I might glad I got out of that short. Yep. But there's a new short to be had here. It's uh, uh, a. Yeah. What? Oh, I don't even know the level anymore. Too, we drew too many. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was this yellow one here. Uh, sorry, this gray one, 72, 79, 72, 78. I don't think the short is over. I just think we're, we're going after a greedier moment here. Okay. Really, it's our job to, um, it's, it's, it's our job to um, find the greediest in this rejection because it does look like rejection. Now, now, it won't be rejection if it goes over top of this level. It won't be yes. rejection if it starts holding over that. But that's going to be our best entry if it is rejection. Yes. Do you and remember I'll, saying to us a couple of weeks ago too about if it meanders its way up towards the level, there's a chance it'll shoot on through it? 
Um, yeah, be, be, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and that's, you know, and right here, it's going to try to hold whatever it's holding. Like as long as it can hold over top of this, it's fine. As long as it holds over top of that, you know, which makes this hold level still going to ladder it up, right? Yeah, yeah. But again, it could simply come all the way down into this range down here or yeah. even lower before attacking this level. It could come down all the way down to the front side hold down here, right? Like all the way down here. It's all a part, like we can all, only ever see one piece in the future like what i told you guys before we can only ever see one piece into the future we can't we can't see two moves because we have to see what's developing first to see what's developing next but we can always see the next part of the move like we, we can always say oh if this trend breaks we're going to move up you know which, which gives us clarity on on all, every trade we do because that gives us the moments where we should either be entering or exiting right yeah no need to know what's happening two moments in the future even if we did know what's happening then we don't we don't need to know that because that's just not going to help us right now Yes, yeah, yeah. I know what's happening. And, and yeah. it's, I mean, every single tick there are human beings may taking decisions, you know? Yep. We don't, I already know it's going to go down to 5,300. So it's just about finding the right short to get us there. So I already know what's happening two, three, four, five moves ahead in the future. It's going to either go to 62. I believe the next one is 66 or 53. So we already know it's going to short. It's just finding the right, right short here, right? So yeah. even, if, even, if, even if we do know what's happening two moves in the future, that doesn't really help us. In this moment, because we still need to know this moment what's happening, you know. So if we get if we get a successful short uh, at seventy two seventy odd, and it and it does start its way down, while it's on its way down, that's kind of like a position trade or swing trade. You you're, you're day trading all the way as well, grinding as you say. Yeah, yeah, just a different diff, two different uh, two different sets of trades. Yeah, yeah. So we've touched back side of that first trend. Yep. Broke over its trend and now hit the back side. Technically still laddering. Your ladder now is from here. So right, you had this ladder here like this, and then this one here like this, which is now giving you your, your next ladder point. I'll attach it to it right there. So as long as we stay over, over that kind of thing now, we're good. Yeah, right. Like as long as we stay over over this moment here, we're fine. So as long as we stay over this, we're fine. So the greediest point over that would have been backside of trend, actually. That would have been the perfect moment. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to keep watching this thing for a few minutes. I think this is highly valuable, what we're doing today. I think, you know. No, no, I'm, I'm, like I'm, learning, I'm learning tons here. Listen to you. It's great. I'm learning yep. tons. I mean, I don't know if this was your objective for this session. Not really, but it's a perfect moment, right? It's just kind of one of those improvisational things. It's, it's kind of like the perfect moment to um, look at a trade because it's happening right in front of our eyes. So we can, you know, now, now I think to, yeah. like really the, the, the great thing about today is you learned ranges very in depth. Like I don't think I've gone through ranges with anybody like this yet. So this is like in-depth ranges. Yeah, so, so, so this is actually something I had completely, you know, unplanned. But to learn ranges at this level, like now you're understanding where to take better shorts, right? And And, and kind of, lines up with where you're at anyways because you're 400 percent profit on the week right but we know that you probably could have been at six or seven or eight hundred percent and again there's nothing wrong with 400 percent. that that that's fantastic no, on its own without, without a doubt i left i left loads of money at the table on every trade absolutely but now you're able to see like where that happens yeah. so, so you have 400 percent profits in one week so so like you're in, you know you're, you're doing mentorship you've got all this hard work to get to this point and now you're like holy crap man i just made 400 percent this week and, and this is great but now we can say okay that's good let's just step it up again where, where do we see where we're gonna be seven or eight hundred percent and now where you where you entered yeah. earlier at 72 30 you see where that was fundamentally flawed because you didn't define the range yes. so 72 30 was great again you still made profits but this is the difference between entering at 72.30 versus 72.65 because this was an extra $35 on 70 points. This is an extra 50% in this trade you, you didn't make, right? Oh, for sure. And I, I've, I've done that in every one of those trades this week, without a doubt. So yeah, this, this is like a fantastic, oh, oh, wow. Okay, well, there's some distribution. Jesus, completely just broke its range right here. So this is kind of a key moment, right? Like you can even see like how right now we're analyzing this range and saying, oh, shoot, like it just... Okay, now, now, now we're down in this here. Now we're at that same point. Like, okay, we're laddering here, here. I guess technically, as long as we stay over this, we can develop the next piece of the ladder. So actually, if we went back to it, we marked this level earlier. It was, it was either this one or this one. Either one of these is fine. Like you'd have that there. You'd have this here. They're all laddering the move. That's the thing. They're all still laddering it off of this point. So as long as you stay over this, so find that, Find the levels over top of this and technically 
you are still laddering. So we're still okay. We, we haven't taken any second or third trades yet because really we're looking for that moment up here. But at least we're ha we have a clear path of, of you know. Yeah, and you would, you I mean, just what, what's, what's common in front of my mind here right now is that you wouldn't be long in these levels because, they're, again, in the middle of a, a, a bigger range. What I would do is I'd move to a higher time frame here. Now, now that we have more candles developed, I would move to like a five minute chart here and see what the story is. Because we've done, we kind of seen the three minute. And, and so you do have that. Okay, so like this, you do have this guy to this guy here, which is actually your first swing high to here. So you have your first kind of, you have your first kind of defined five minute candle. You like or like this. You, you have your first accumulation. Yeah. accumulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your first start of a cycle at the five minute. You actually would have had this here, which actually makes it this middle candle here. So it's actually that middle candle is the uh, correct candle. So I would mark that trend. And, and what I would do here is I would go to a 15 minute to make sure that that highest candle isn't where we should actually. Well, okay, I would mark that one too. Yeah, we mark, mark this portion, sure. then we'll see. Um, and no, then no, look, actually, when I go, when I go to 15 minutes. Yeah, oh, oh, no, sorry, go ahead and mark that. See, we did miss something here. Look, right here. See, just not going through the time frame. We just didn't do the work. But this, this is clearly the greediest ladder point. We actually did miss this. This is where it was supposed to go. But again, we, we, didn't, we didn't catch that because we were in the different time frames. You see how you do have to go through time frames as this evolves. It's just something we didn't, we didn't do for whatever reason. So now I would go to the 15 minute and see, do we have any two accumulation counts? We do. So I would mark those as well. I, it's probably the same. It's probably the exact same. Uh, it's the same trend. Yeah, it's, it's probably the same thing. And then I would go back to like the five minute or the three minute or the one. Yeah, it's literally the same thing. So, so I would just leave it on the five minute here. Ah, that's not what I want to do. The 15 minute is happening first though. Maybe I would leave the 15 minute first because that's happening first in time. So I want to see the earlier signs. Yeah. And then go to like your uh, one minute candles here now. So we actually did have the right level marked. We just didn't go and do the work to find it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you see what I mean? Like there's always a reason when we know the rules yeah. of the game, there, nothing can exist outside of the rules. There's not a single moment in these charts. Trust me. I've looked for, for 10 years. There's not a single, well, maybe at this level of knowledge, I've looked for at least five. I've done my due diligence. There's not a single move that happens outside of the rules. It's just, you know, you're the referee, right? Like you have to enforce these rules. Yes. Just, just getting out of that trade, 9%. Which one? Where? The, yeah, I'm sharing the screen. The, 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 the short from 7 to 30 and just getting out while well, you could see the failure. You're still 9%, you know? Yep. Yep. It's such an important part of what we do is getting this <laughs> entry. Because, because if, you ha if you have best entry on it, like this is such a beautiful thing in trading. The most beautiful moment happens is when you have best entry on your trade, right? You have any one trade that you have best entry on. You literally can't lose money on any trade if you know what's happening. It doesn't mean you make money. It just means you lose time. So, so this is something I, I, I talk about when I develop AIX at the highest level. Like what's the worst case scenario is that we lose time because time becomes our, our, our value here because we can enter these propositions all day long where we have the risk is zero. The risk is our time. And if we're constantly wrong, we're not making money. So that's kind of like the striving point to get towards is where you, where you constantly have zero risk trading. And the worst case scenario becomes, oh man, I just lost the day and I didn't make any money. But I think, I think there, there comes a point where gone are the days of, oh, I had a losing day. And unless you really make some, some silly mistakes, like you can still have losses because the level gets blown right through and you didn't do your job properly. But, but really, if you always do your job properly, there, there is no, hey, I lost money this day. I made money that day. It should be, I lost time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each you day can, should be a good day. Yeah. You can see where all these perfect entries exist. Like, you know, I've, I've I pride myself on being the masters of tops and bottoms, right? Catch every top at the highest level, catch every bottom at the, at the lowest level and nothing in between, right? Like don't ever get anything in between. If you do, it's a mistake. So, so if, if, if you can do that, like you guys see me do it all the time down to the dollar, $2, but that, that's my whole thing is like, if I can, if I can master the tops and bottoms, I'll never, I'll never lose money. I'll just lose time. 
But again, I, I think that's the highest form of trading. I don't think there's a higher form of trading. Not that I've seen. Um, catching the tops and bottoms is, is the highest form of trading because there's technically no better entry, right? So, right, exactly. just, are you, are you, are you uh, pinning that statement to every time frame? I catch the top and bottom of the 15 minutes. I catch the top mm-hmm. and bottom of the hour. I'll do it on the four hour. Every one of them, yeah. Absolutely. Even on the minutes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's why I always say, like, if we're not in a trade because we missed something, no big deal. There's, there's like literally tops and bottoms are everywhere. They're, they're absolutely yeah. everywhere. Like even, even right now, this could be the top of the short, right? It could be. And, and what would yes. that look like to me? It looks like we've got trend from here. I would think that this is the trend that's holding right now. Um, maybe quickly go in and check that, delete some of these other trends here. And let's just... Even simply, because what it looks like to me is this to this is rejecting. Right. So okay, maybe delete your other trends and we'll just use one trend here. Delete that one, delete this blue one. That's fine. You can put them We're back after and just pin this one to the top of this candle. Top of which candle? This one right here. Mm, Why? That one right there. Yeah. So as, as suspected, that's what's happening. Um, it's trying to break this trend. On a different time frame that we can't see, this is going to be the ladder point, right? Ladder point to ladder point prior to this being hit. So this would have created the ladder from here to here, which encompasses this piece of the move here. So, so this is like the, the first one would have been here, but I can see that one is already broken. You can, you can see that that was yeah, broken there. Yes, and then yes, it created yes. this. <laughs> and then, and then when, when this was trying to break, this wasn't the creation of the ladder point. This is the, the, the latter point to here is to here, but this was created off of this. So that's the trend that it failed to break to create its move up. So I would see this to this as what's holding the move down. And, and actually that is what it is. It's holding the move down right there, even locally in the moment. That's more advanced laddering stuff. We haven't gone over that yet, but, but we will um, soon. So there's, there's no worry on that. So technically, this could have been best entry because it could have just been trend, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I keep messing with this, putting it into there. No, no, no worries. Uh, we're still laddering, right? We're, we're still in that moment where it's like ladder to ladder to ladder, right? We're, we're still at that moment right now. We talked about this. Did, 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 like most of, the, most of the traders here don't really know that they're creating a ladder. No. See, that's, that's what I was talking about. Like this could still technically hold the move right here. Remember when I said as long as it, there's, there's going to be a level there that could technically hold it, that's what you're seeing right now. So we talked about yeah. this level. Technically, we can still hold it because it's still creating a ladder from here, right? And that's what, so, so that's what you're seeing right now. Like I said, the, the, you can always explain it. It, it is just that how good are your rules? Because this is the moment we looked for earlier where we said, okay, yes. well, hmm. you know, technically these this people, is These people who are training here don't know that they're creating this. No, no, they don't, they don't know. What, what is happening is that Biggest and best traders in the world are looking at all these pieces and saying, this is where we short, this is where we long. X's and O's, right? And, and they let everybody else create the moments between. Whatever happens here between, you're, you're going to have some traders who, who see like, okay, for example, this level being hit here will represent the bottom of some kind of MA being bought, for example. So maybe like an MA25 on the 15 minute. Th- this level is going to represent that because all, all, those, oh, right, sure. all those data point averagings that people are using are just creating these in-between moments, right? So, so all these weird indicators, the MACD, the this, the that, on, on some time frame they're creating. So people are buying that and then the real traders are, are analyzing the science at this level, right? Like the, the couple of us that are in the world are doing it this way. And then we're saying, okay, you guys created this for us. Now, the big money, because this is all little money. Like if, if, if big money came yeah, into this thing. So would be- the, active, the active positions, like you spoke about, are sitting watching all of these, what you might call bad trades, yep. creating the entry points, but they are good trades. Yep, creating the science. Eventually, if, if you keep messing, mucking around out here, you're going to have some big four-hour trend out here or maybe some daily trend out here. And that's when you see trend breaks and it's like, burn it's done because that's where the longs are exiting. They're either exiting there on that circle or they're exiting here on this X and n- really nothing in between. So, so 99% of the market is bringing us to our science points. And then the, and then the 1% is deciding what happens, but, but therefore <laughs> leading to your 1% of the market of, of the money controlling 99% of the market. Cause that 1% represents 99% of the money in the market. Right? 
Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. What you yeah, mean. it's really interesting it, from from, from not, a, um, theoretical standpoint. When when you just talk about the uh, the theory of it, it's 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 very it's very interesting. It's almost like a book. Like you can you can, I guess I'm a little weird like that, but it's almost like you're watching a story being told, right? Like it's almost like yeah, uh, make up make yeah. up your own story in this. Like that, that that's kind of the beauty of this all is like it, it has this story. It would be a couple of big traders there, and just cr- crossed my mind a few times. There's, let's say, the, the, the guy with the biggest short that's sitting up there at 72, 70 yard and he's waiting and he's, would he put a sizable long on to get a crowd chasing it, to bring it up and then really, you know, put 10 oh, times yeah. that on the short? Oh yeah, that happens all yeah. the time. You see big, I, I've seen them as big as 2,000 Bitcoin in, in the book, just at a, a weird arbitrary level, like all of a sudden. You'll just to see. shove the crowd into their yeah. big direction. You'll, you'll just see somebody pop 800 Bitcoin on the books right there and, and then another one behind it for another 1,200, right? So, 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 yeah, because when you have that kind of money, you have the power to get it to those levels. But that doesn't mean you can manipulate the market. It just means you're just speeding up what's already going to happen anyways, right? Yes, yeah, but that, that was, I, I wondered uh, where there are people out there with that capability that they could push it on to where they really wanted to go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Only to a certain point, though, because because then the real trader is like, if if one guy's pushing it up here and the other guy says, "Uh, uh-uh, I'm going to short this. If you want to long it, you can take your chances, and I'll take all your money." Like he's not going to do that. <laughs> he got to five thousand Bitcoin or whatever is in his account for a reason, and he's not going to squander it for his ego, right? Because there becomes a point where we just don't care because the the, the money we make, there is no ego. It's just like, well, for Christ's sakes, I make X amount of figures per month. I, I don't need, you know, how much do I want? I, 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 yeah, I make as much as I want. I don't need to egotistically be right, right? You know what I mean? There's no, there's no ego when you're talking about that kind of money. It's just you either have it or you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no ego. There's no bragging rights. It's just, hey, I've got it. I don't care. No, Actually, nobody's opinion probably, matters to me. The real good ones that don't even let people know that they're, they're, they're the good ones. Exactly. And the only reason I found this whole level is because I realized it was the level over top of the latter point. Right? So it's kind of like a hidden level. It's the level over, over top of a ladder point. So, so as long as this can continue to hold, technically it's still laddering. It's when this starts to break is when the, you know, you'll see a lower range attack. And you, you, I would almost say like maybe you could even go here. Yeah, I guess you could. I guess you could because then that's just going to hold the level through the trend. Like you could go there. But any lower than that and you're, you're kind of back down in a smaller range. Like any, any moment under this, you, you know, you're down in here backside here maybe like you're you're somewhere in a different range at that point you're you're in a different piece of the move at that point you know what i mean like so you, you re- reset your brain uh, on what your intent yeah are. exactly you're no you're no longer pushing a range to have a move up right you're you're, yeah. you're kind of holding a move to set up something longer so it kind of shifts the correlation of what's to happen in the future right now you're just simply yeah. developing a, a range up top like you're, you're just holding a high range like that i always say those words like we're just holding a high range right like that's all it's yeah. You know, as long as you continue to hold this, eventually you'll just break these trends that are created. You just have to continue to hold this. It could take all day. We could just sit here and hold all day, but it, it, eventually it'll create another little trend here and another little trend here and here. And so, so then you got to break this one and then you got to break this one and then you got to break this right. one. But if it, if it just continues to perpetually hold this, you know, this level here, it's just going to hold right through every single trend it, it could ever possibly make. And then it just moves up. Until it gets there. Yeah. And, you know, in terms of fragility, are we in a fragile area here? Because so I would, I would shift that term fragile to polarized. So I, I, I give that term fragile, the move is fragile. That's a good way for people to, at first, understand that a move can, can have, um, it's, it's like understanding polarity before you understand it. Because fragile means, yeah. oh, it's like glass. It could shatter any second. But that's yeah. polarity. So, so fragile would be like, oh, this is fragile. Defining a large grouping of understanding. So, so you're, you're allowing people to understand that these moves, they can shatter like glass and all of a sudden it can just be gone. If, if you were to, to refine fragility, it would be polarization. It would be here and here. So it's very acute moments. So, so fragile is this and, and this. Those are fragile moments. Fragile yes, is kind of... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It, it's going one way or the other. Yeah, fragile is like a, a blanket term. And, 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 and in order to understand polarity, you, you know, your months of mentorship after fragility. Because something that's fragile you, you you use that terminology fragile this makes sense to let people know that hey there's certain 
times where where something can just break. So so be careful. It's like a caution sign. But then it doesn't yes. tell you what's ahead. It's just like a blank caution sign, like caution. Something could possibly happen ahead. But then, <clears throat> You know, you replace that sign with a pothole sign. Um, watch out for potholes on the right. You know, that's what this is. It's like, oh, watch out for this level on, on at this time in this moment. It, it, it's more like replace that idea of fragile with polarized and start looking for polarized moments. L- moments that break larger pieces of the chart give you acuity, right? Like this is 100x. This is 100x. So, so you know, even that's why I said earlier stay at 50x because you have to understand what's you know what what uh, polarization yeah and, and uh, yeah i'm not there i'm not there but, but 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 once you understand polarization you can 100x this level and if it goes a cent over or just holds like right here you just get out with no losses and if it rejects you just make double the profits so so there's really no downside of 100xing the downside of 100xing is hey you got to know how to trade properly or these higher level trading right well, I'll keep walking towards and I may get to the 100x point, yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. don't rush it, don't rush it. You, you can make more money than you know what to do with a 50x and, and you don't have to have the stress because 100x is stressful because then you have to be accurate every single time, like it's very stressful. But it doubles, it literally doubles your income, right? Like literally doubles your income. If you make well, 100,000 all know, my, 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 my philosophy on this is, you know, I'll, I'll take this to where I'm as good as I can be. Um, you know, if it's making me money then at a particular uh, level, then so be it, you know. You will be more prof- profitable and successful than 99% of traders out there. The only thing that 100x can do for you is you have 0 to 100 here. In theory, and your slider right now is here at 50x right in the middle. In mm-hmm. theory, if you are making $100,000 a year, you could simply just click this button and drag it over and all of a sudden you doubled your income. But that only works. That only works if you're right. If you're so this is the only yeah. thing doing 100x does it. Whatever income you're comfortable making, you can just double it. You could just if you make 300,000 a year, you could just make 600,000 a year just by simply sliding a button. But but you have to be right in order. Like you can't. You you have you, yeah, have, you, you have to you, not you really. Yeah, you can't, you can't be getting liquidated on those 50 x's if they were 100 x. Right, the accuracy has to be that to take that leap. But, but yes. when it's there, if, if it ever gets there, when it does, if it does, hey, you can still make 300K a year or even maybe even 500K a year or even maybe even a million dollars a year at 50X. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. You, you could actually probably make $5 million a year at 50X. If you notice the accuracy is there, hey, you can try it, right? Like, so so don't, don't make it more than what it needs to be. 50X is perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and you know, that, that was a very good, useful tip you gave me at the, at the top of the call because... You know, every trade now, I will go and examine and say, well, if I'd have gone 100x, what would have happened to you? Yep, absolutely. It's just a good way to look at it. Just, just start analyzing every trade. And because it's not, it's not the fact that you're working towards 100x. What that does, like we said, it, it, it allows you to see where you were wrong and not, yes. you know, you can still make money and be wrong. You were wrong at 72.30. It, it, it's, it's refining your educational prowess, if you like, but you know. Yeah. You, were, you were wrong at 72.30, but you still made money on it. You were only wrong <laughs> in, in, in the sense that you, were, you could have gotten higher. Yeah. So tech, yeah. in a technical sense, you were wrong and you still made money. That's a great, that's a great feeling. It's not to, bad, is it? <laughs> to know bad. you're not doing the right thing and you're still no. making money. Imagine what you I'm can a, do when you are right. <laughs> right on, I'm a millionaire. 